Details surrounding the Las Vegas massacre still remain unclear. Owners of the Mandalay Bay have questioned the timeline of events and questions remain unanswered by Las Vegas police. Security footage from the hotel may reveal Paddock's activities in the hours and days leading up to the murderous rampage, but that has been withheld despite public interest. At first report stated that Stephen Paddock shot security guard Jesus Campos after raining bullets over concert goers at the Route 91 Harvest Festival Sunday night. But now it turns out he shot Campos six minutes prior to the attack. Campos now claims he alerted police immediately after being shot at 9.59 p.m. Then Paddock began rapid fire at 10.05 p.m., which lasted for approximately 10 minutes. Police did not arrive at Paddock's hotel room on the 32nd floor until 10.17, a whole 18 minutes after Campos alerted them of the armed man. But what may be even more puzzling is that Campos is not a registered security guard in Nevada, according to reports. Every security guard in the state of Nevada must be registered as an armed or unarmed guard with the Private Investigators Licensing Board. Jesus Campos is not listed. In addition, Stephen Shuck, another hotel employee, recently revealed that he warned hotel dispatchers to report an active gunman to police, and that he also did so prior to the attack. Shuck claimed he heard gunshots when responding to a maintenance request of a jam fire door on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort. At that time, he saw Campos, who had just been shot by Paddock moments before, peek out from an alcove. Campos signaled for Shuck to take cover, which is when Shuck reported the incident to the hotel dispatchers. Critics claim authorities were too quick to dismiss the possibility of an accomplice. They were also dissatisfied that investigators readily rejected ISIS's claims that Paddock was a recent convert. In the meantime, victims and their families may be financially compensated within three to four months. A GoFundMe page was started by the Clark County Commission Chair from Las Vegas and has raised over $10 million, which could be transferred to victims in multiple payments. Kenneth Feinberg, the co-chair of the Las Vegas Victims Fund, also represented victims of 9-11, the Orlando nightclub shooting, and the Boston Marathon bombing.